Okay, so I'm going to go over how to do assignment number 17, which is our review document on the revolutions that we've been learning about. So remember, we're really trying to understand how natural rights, the concept of natural rights, influences revolutions and movements from today. So it's really important that we understand what rights are and how different people define natural rights and how that can look different in different places. And so natural rights are those ones the government cannot take away, um, that are always protected. And so we see people fight for them in a variety of different ways. Um, so the first thing we'll wanna do is review the learning objective and the essential questions. And then as you scroll down, there'll be white boxes for you to be able to write your answers in. So the stuff you need to know, remember this is a review study guide document. So Universal Declaration of Human Rights is the first like thing you need to know. We've looked at it a bunch while looking at this learning objective, but if you need to see it again, you can click here and you can open it up in a new tab. And so it's gonna ask you, what was it? So what was the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and why was it made? What was it in reaction to? What caused you know, the United Nations to create the Universal Declaration of Human Rights? And then what are some of the rights that it says apply to all? So that's really just going through, and there's a whole bunch it's a huge list, but just pick a few of them so that we can remember that when we talk about natural rights, we're not just talking about equality. We're getting more specific than that in what, you know, when we define equality for all, what does that look like economically, socially, politically? What does that look like when it comes to education? What does that look like when it comes to the right to work? And so you'll go through and you'll just list a few here. Then you'll look at the French Revolution. When and where did this happen? What were the causes? What rights were they fighting for? Who was involved? So not just important people, but also list groups as well. And what do you find most interesting? So that's where you get to say your own, your own bit about this. Now, if you see the term the French Revolution and you're like, I don't remember this. I don't remember it from our notes, which we've taken a lot of notes and done a lot of work on this. But if you forget, it's okay. There's key terms that relate to this topic there's a video you can go and review, or there's a reading you can go and look at. But remember, we've done a lot of work on this topic already. So your goal is to try and see what do you recall and remember before using those tools to help you. Then down here, it says in boxes below, add four images to represent what you learned about the French Revolution, explain how they represent what you learned. So here, it needs to be symbolism. It can't just be finding images of the French Revolution. So I'm gonna go up to insert, I'm gonna say image, I'm gonna say search the web. And when I think of the French Revolution, one of the first things I think about is the Women's March um, over bread prices. So I'm gonna search for bread. I'm gonna insert a picture of bread. There's a fancy looking roll of bread. I'll say insert. It's nice, it resized it how I want. Um, Red represents, oops, let me make sure I spell correctly. Red represents the Women's March on, oops, I'm doing all sorts of typos, but I'll go back and fix it. Versailles. Go and I'll fix my typo. And then I'll come up with another one. Okay, so insert image, search the web. When I think of the French Revolution, I think about the fight against the monarchy. So I'm gonna do a crown. I'll say insert. I'll say crown. Oops, again, another typo represents the fight. Oh my goodness. Against the monarchy. Oh, nope. I just can't type when people are watching me. And I'll go through and I'll find two more images to represent something that I learned about the French Revolution. So remember, it can't be images of the French Revolution. It needs to be representative. Then you go through and you talk about the American Revolution, you find your four images, your Latin American Revolutions, you find your four images, Haitian Revolution, same questions for each one, find the four images. And then remember in the one of the first lessons we did was we talked about today. We talked about you were either looking at Hong Kong protests or Black Lives Matter as a global movement. And so just pick one, you don't need to do both and answer the questions about it. And if you don't remember what you learned about it, you can go back and you can look at the YouTube video again or the article again. And then there's also key terms to help you. 
And then the culminating task, if you go and you look at assignment number 18, it has more specific instructions for you on what to do with that. Um, it's a little bit more clear and a little bit more detailed, but you're going to use this document and everything you've learned to create a song or um, a poem. So I'll make another video explaining that in just a minute.